Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by. Tonight, breaking out the wild game again. I got some backstrap off of a really nice deer that we got last year. And uh, what we're gonna do today is, is we're gonna wrap this in bacon, throw it on the grill, and make a fantastic bacon wrap deer loin. So stick around, let me show you how we do that. These little pieces of backstrap or the loin off of the deer. Um, had been butterflied. We actually took these in to get processed last year instead of me processing them. And what I usually do is, is I uh, leave the back straps home. But somehow had some confusion and these got, these got butterflied. So I just cut the uh, silver skin or the sinew off of these. And I'm coating these with my fajita seasoning. I'll put a recipe down below in the description box for y'all. To take my strips of bacon now, all I'm going to do is, is wrap it around. Thick sliced bacon is not really good for this process. It's better to use a thinner slice and it just seems to cook through a little bit better. But take that like it. Take that. Take my skewer. I'll run it right through there and that'll kind of hold my bacon on. Now both skewers are done, I'm going to drop a little more seasoning on top of my bacon. Just layering these flavors. If you want to just put two ticks through these, you could. That would work fine. There we go. All that's done. Let's see if we can get the fire started. I'm going to let these just kind of sit and marinate in their seasons for a little bit. Then we'll get them on the grill. As you can see, different day. Had a, had a major malfunction here. What we were going to do was, was go over there and we were going to cook these up on the gas grill, just kind of show how to use that lion grill I have. And it's the first time ever my lion grill has failed me. It, and it really wasn't the grill itself. It was the um, regulator. Regulator went out, wouldn't enough, let enough fuel pass through. So couldn't get it hot enough to, to cook on. So a couple of days later, We've got the Weber kettle out. We're going to get these uh, venison medallions wrapped in bacon on this Weber kettle and show you how to cook them up this way. One thing that is nice about this is, is that these little medallions have had a few days to marinate in that seasoning we put on them. So, they ought to be very flavorful. Going to take these to, oh, medium at the most, really medium rare to medium. Uh, pull them about that 145 range, be good. If you want to let them bump up to 150 to carry up to that 155, you can. But I would pull them somewhere between, right, right around 145. I'm just going to say that. So, they're on there. That's good and hot. It's not going to take very long. Lid's back on the kettle. It's good and hot. So about three minutes, we'll look at turning these. Now, get that lid out of the way. Take these and turn them over. Oh, they're browning nicely on this side. And this is a good, it's a good hot heat. It's, you can hold it there about three seconds. So give you an idea how hot it is. If we brown up that side, they'll be ready to get off here. Let's get this open, see if it's time to get these off. They are looking nice. Let's see if we can get them off now. These have been sitting about 10 minutes, so the juices should have been kind of uh, settled in there now. Won't want to run out all of a sudden, but we're going to slice a couple of these up, see how they turned out. I think the first one I want to cut is this one right here. Well, I overshot the medium, it looks like. Or it's, oh, 
these right here look medium. They look pretty. Went a little bit too long. Didn't have my instant read thermometer with me today, so slice up another one here. Both these are a little bit over medium. But they're not dried out. Still seem to have some moisture in them, so uh, we're gonna check and see how they turned out. This is a great recipe if you're on a diet, if you're trying to lose some weight, you need to eat something that's uh, maybe nice protein but not a lot of fat. That's the kind of diet I'm on right now. Uh, Roger Raglan Outdoors, you can go over there and see Roger and, um, and kind of how his diet goes. You got some questions, you can send me some messages also. But the authority is Roger, he's the one that kind of came up with it, but it's working good for me. Uh, we're doing we're doing very well the wife's on it she's dropping weight too so we're excited about it it's working good and we're just going to try to give some of this deer meat wrapped in bacon a try and see how it turned out mm. very good it's uh it's a good mild taste that seasoning being on it for a couple of days now just really soaked in it's got a great flavor um it's it's easy to make doesn't take long like i said three or four minutes on each side I got busy doing some stuff around here. Let it sit for about five or six on that first side because I was running around doing things. And that's why it's a little bit over. Back that down to three or four on each side with a, a good, good heat up underneath it, probably 400, 450 degrees. This turned out fantastic. Appreciate you stopping by. Remember to check out my buddy Roger Raglan over at Roger Raglan Outdoors. Put a link down below for that, but a wonderful meal. I tell you what, this this deer meat wrapped in bacon came out fantastic. Uh, if you like it, remember to give me that thumbs up. Remember to subscribe for me. Always do appreciate that. Uh, go check out the Amazon store down below. Got a lot of products down there for you to try and use, and it helps out the channel every time you do. So thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. I really do appreciate it, and we'll see y'all down the road. Goodbye now. <music>